Hello, welcome to the Skilled Souls. It's Callum here as always. Um, I am doing a one-off episode today um, about uh, Armour 2 Operation Arrowhead Armoury, as you may have guessed from the title. But uh, I've been playing DayZ quite a bit and not uh, some people uh, need more practice for helicopters and on DayZ you can't really get it because so many people take the helicopters and crash them and then you have to wait ages for them to respawn. So this is something that maybe quite a few of you know, but I know a couple of people that play DayZ but not armour. Um, in which point this is armoury and it will help you in DayZ. And simply to do it, load up Armour 2 Operation Arrowhead. Make sure it's standard, you don't have like... Make sure you only have beta expansion uh, under this expansions tab. Um, if you've got DayZ, then just disable it and the may ask you to restart. But when, once you get it working, go single player, armory, and you have a choice of three maps. Utes, which is pretty much what armor is based on. Chinaris, which is the main DayZ map. Or Takistan, which people may know from um, uh, Takistan Life. It's a big multi, it's big multiplayer game in armor. But I'm going to go for Chinaris today because I'm doing this for people that play DayZ. Now, if you do continue, you go into a completely different version of armory. I've never done it. Because I've heard it's not so great. Also, but I, I choose to go host. Because then also my friends can join me. So pretty much I'll just um, name it Skilled Souls Armory. For this example. Leave the port the same. Maximum players it's your choice. I'm going to have a password as SS. Um, host. You can either do it LAN if your friends are around your house. Uh, or if it's just you. You want a bit of practice on your own. I suggest LAN because then you don't get some people joining if they manage to crack your password or anything or if you go internet that's how your friends join so internet for friends land for friends if they're only at your house and on your internet but you should know that uh, if you don't then you do now uh, simply just hit ok I'm doing it for land just for this because it should be less laggy uh, you come up with this screen you could choose who you want to be even though you're exactly the same uh, if you're with your friends you may want to change the parameters you can also change any of this, but I, if I'm with my friends, I just stick their time onto a, a infinite because we can play for a while, we can play for not so long. Um, it's pretty good. Then hit OK and let it load up. It will bring this thing called Armex up. It's pretty much the facility you're in, but the actual game mode's called Armory. And it's showing you Tachistan at the moment. I don't know. I think it's just because it's the standard like screen where they have Armex. But yeah. Armoury is probably one of the funnest things because you get a few helicopters, a few vehicles, even vehicles you don't get in DayZ, but they are slowly bringing into DayZ. Um, and you get jets, which are just fun to muck around in. But uh, helicopters are mainly what are in DayZ now, so I'll have a look at them. Then I'll have a bit look at the jets. Um, in fact, I can also look at an aero shot if I get one. The thing is with armoury is that you get random vehicles. So you can get jets, or you can get um, VTOLs, uh, you can get like the Osprey, Little Birds. Um, but it's random because there's so many jets in armor itself. Um, you can't just like base the vehicles on DayZ, so we have to hope we get a good one. Uh, just hit continue there, and it should load up with the Chinaris at the airfield. Should. If my game loads quick enough. It's so slow! It's being real serious and then just have to So you spawn in, you have just a M4A1 CCO, which is like the standard gun. Um, it's pretty good. Medical tents you can go, I think, if you get injured in any way. I don't know. I normally get killed by my friends before I get to go there. Um, there's some vehicles here. I like picking up the bike because it's pretty cool. Um, you get meta challenges which pop up. I'm, I'm going to go into challenges in a minute. Um, but I will show you. So in this first one, you have some vehicles. And here you have a Euro ammunition. And you've got like, majority of these vehicles have been in MDZ. So you get, the, the if you're on this now, you'll probably get different vehicles. Um, oh, sounds a little bit loud. Hopefully it isn't too loud for you. Um, then you get some tanks, and then see here we have an Osprey. We then have an, two aero shots, which is good because they're the ones you get in um, uh, Day Z, and I'll show you them in a minute because I'm a pretty good, decent flyer now. And then you get helicopters. Um, I think that's a little bird back there, which I'll start off with because that's you. Yep, yeah, that's a little bird. 
This isn't the exact one you get in um, Daisy. In Daisy, in Daisy, you get the uh, other little bird. The only difference is that it's grey and like this one holds more people and rockets. But yeah, it's pretty cool. So yeah, if this is pretty much a tutorial, also a bit for flying. You get in by scrolling down like normal, and then press Q. Make sure you have auto hover on. To know it's on, it should say auto hover off if you scroll down. This is just a bit of a practice uh, for you, in which point you can learn all this yourself. Um, simple right, left, and auto hover just balances you back up again. If you have auto hover off, you do that, it doesn't balance you back up again. And um, don't do what I just did unless you're actually good with helicopters. But the idea is you can fly around, you have rockets, bang bang. Uh, you can muck around with your friends. Uh, it's actually quite fun because you can go over the whole map of Chinaris. As you can see here. It's the whole map, but uh, that here is the main area for it. Right. Um, any more about helicopters is that uh, you get all these different ones. Uh, as I said, they are always different. Um, if you don't know, Z to go down. Uh, I'm currently got alt on. I use it quite a lot when flying. Uh, X to go left, C to go right. Uh, you can do your mouse that way if you prefer. Uh, F changes weapons, um, but you don't get weapons in DayZ, so I don't really know why I'm asking. Well, I mean, I mean, like you don't get uh, uh, weapons as a helicopter driver, pilot, whatever. Um, a cool tip is if in DayZ, I've had this several times. If in DayZ you are um, uh, oh, right, one second. Just need to quickly turn my sound down. Hopefully, this isn't recording my desktop, otherwise, I'll cut it out. Right, I just will turn down my sound quickly. I don't know if I, if I cut that out yet. But, um, cool thing uh, if you need to take off and someone's shooting at you, a good thing to do in a little bird, because it's my favourite helicopter, is just literally press S, bear with it, and then you can fly it like that. It, you ha it will take some practice, otherwise, you'll probably crash which point is a good way to get going so I'll show that to you again if you've just like flown up you want to hold you just hold down in which point the helicopter will go backwards uh, it will automatically spin I'm not doing that and then you're at high speed to carry on flying where you're going just little birds for Daisy if you're on a server you uh, uh, if you're on a server with barely any people on it it's it's pretty good but preferably no people because the little birds are really really weak as I will probably demonstrate for you now um, when you land turn auto hover on I've kind of been practicing for a while so I can do it without but to show that they're really weak uh, this is sort of an average gun that people will probably shoot you with five shots just there look the engine's gone the main it that that's probably not flyable now oops I'm just taking static rounds out well, um, so yeah, you have other helicopters. I'm going to leave this to you as I'm going to need to move on to the uh, planes before I run out of time. Uh, planes is just going to be a quick overview because, to be honest, the aeroshot isn't advised in um, in DayZ. Uh, I I know several places you can land the aeroshot where it's really good for a base, one of them being my base. So if you ever join me on my server, you'd know where my base is, so I'm not going to do that. Uh uh, it may look like this. I can't remember what it looks like, but yeah, for planes, as it's something people really rarely get to see, you press Q and you have to hold down Q to get going, and then use X and C again to turn. <coughs> Sorry. Um, in which point, then don't go too fast because the arrow shot isn't one of the fastest things in the world. Um, if you go like above 50, you'll probably start flying and then. X and C become really hard to do, so you want to go fast-ish, otherwise it'll take too long, but not too fast. Um, and then, like to land in helicopter Z in this Z to slow down. Uh, you may want to use it on this corner. It depends. I don't know. I'm going quite slow because it's been a while since I've done armory. Uh, I may crash during this, which would uh, probably not be so great, but who cares? So this is for the fun of it. In which point, taking off, people can normally do. If you want, if you need to take off fast, you want to have your flaps down and then flaps down again. 
because that will help you take off uh, earlier but it doesn't necessarily help you get speed you when you're landing you also want your flaps down but landing we'll get to in a bit later because it's the thing I found extremely hard to do um, I've pretty much got it now uh, I like to stick a uh, waypoint where I need to touch down at the end of the runway um, yeah so I've got my flaps down you don't have auto hover in this um, hold down Q to build up your speed first person if you want but you can't really see much uh, different uh, planes, jets, Ospreys, C-130s. Wait, did I call that an Osprey earlier? Whoops. I'm sorry if I did. That's a C-130. Look, I'm already in the air. It's This thing is pretty insane. When you're in the air, you want your flaps completely up, because then they're uh, flat, and then you can gain speed. Always hold Q if you want to gain speed. Otherwise, you will probably drop out of the air. It, it probably isn't a good way to start flying. Um... With the aero shot, you can probably land fairly well at the Bolotta airstrip and the northeast airstrip. Um, if you're going to land at the northwest uh, airfield here, uh, you will probably be killed because there are quite a lot of people that always go loop the barracks. So simply, you can fly. I'm I'm not going to do a big fly. I'm just doing a small demonstration to show you what it's like. Um, it may take you a while, you may not be good with planes, but when I first started, uh, I had two friends which were really good at planes, planes now, planes, uh, I wasn't so great, and uh, they were able to do sort of funky things, uh, I wasn't as such. Uh, so yeah, use the mouse just to look around, uh, or you can use W, which goes down, and S, uh, A and D is that. Uh, X and C, as you've seen already, it turns you. But uh, if you do what I'm doing now, look look at the speed at the top. It goes down so much. Right, now I'm holding Z to sort of slow down, but it is an aero shot. Uh, I'm going to put my flaps down halfway for now, uh, because I still need to get over these trees. Should probably put a bit more speed. Um, the aero shot is probably the easiest thing to land, and you should learn with the aero shots before you move on to jets. Uh, because otherwise it will, it will probably not be uh, a good experience because they go much faster and you need more practice. Right, I can see the runway. I'm sort of coming over the trees. I stick my flaps down again. Uh, I'm not really in line. Hopefully you're better better in line. That's the one problem. You need to get in line. With the aero shot going so slow, it's easy. With other ones, uh, no, not, no, it's not so. Uh, well, it is if you become more advanced. Like, I could probably align. Um, but, yeah, I'm not coming at, like, the best angle right now. Actually, no, no, that's actually really good. So now I'm holding down Z to slow my speed. You want to go down. The area shot is fairly strong um, and sort of stops pretty easily. Uh, right, so now you want to sort of lower it down, lower it down. With the area shot, you want to touch the front wheels first. Oh, sort of bounced off then. Uh, front wheels first, and then sort of just slow down. I just sort of turn the engine off because I can stop in that amount of runway easily, and I have perfectly landed, almost. Give it a minute. There we go, landed. Right. You may have saw it did come up with landing autopilot. Uh, that's v that's very good for me, and that's a good way to show you how you land with these vehicles because you can see everything. Uh, if you do anything, it doesn't uh, it doesn't adjust it. it um, like if you move your mouse, it doesn't do anything. You have to turn off autopilot first. Um, oh, my phone's going off. I will be back in one second. Right. Just sorry about that. My uh, phone was going off at me. Um, right. For this final part, because uh, I'm reaching the sort of 15 minute mark, I make my videos, but this is kind of a one off, so it doesn't matter if it goes over. Um, so that's the whole vehicle idea of armory, right? But some people want to get some practice at killing people as well. Armory is also good for that because if you've been, if you've seen me scrolling down, there's an option that says quick menu. Then there's disable assistance and show rankings. They're not really important. But voting menu. If I go voting menu and then challenge menu, you can see these different challenges which you can do around Chinaris. Um. I'm going to show you one in a second, but before I get onto the voting challenges, if I go again, quick menu, but then quick select menu, 
this is how you choose guns for that challenge so weapons rifles um what gun do I like? I like the G36C, but for this one, I'm going to go for the M110 night vision scope. Um, and then it comes up saying Skilled Souls has selected item M110 night vision scope. Um, in which point, you've picked your gun. You can pick vehicles, but it's pretty stupid. I go for a gun. So then, if there's a group of you, you all need to pick your guns. Then you all need to go voting menu. You choose the one you want. So I'm going to choose... Um, oh, that one sounds interesting. I'm just going to go Convoy Ambush and show you what that's like quickly. Then I'm going to go... Ooh, what one? No, no, yeah, sorry. Don't know what that was for. Then you need to go Voting Menu and then Start Operation. At which point you need everyone to start the operation. Um, and then it will probably say something on the lines. That. You have to wait for the meta challenges to finish. So I've got 20 seconds to get into that over there which I'm not going to because it's probably easier just to wait till the challenge goes um, and then I will be able to show you Convoy Ambush I will see you there in a second right it will pop up saying attention visitors we are now starting operation um, in which point it loads you it shows you the map area you're in um, it shows that the start of the convoy is here and that the end of the convoy is down here um, you spawn around this little area so you can see what you have around you. So if I run, I will have a town there. If I really run fast, then I could get into Lopatino, but I won't be able to. Um, I'm going to quickly fast forward. The, I don't know. No, it's starting in a few seconds. Don't ignore that. Um, so you can see what I've got. And then it's fast traveling you, as it says up here, to the location. At which point you and your friends will spawn in. Um... And you have the road that this convoy ambush comes along. This is actually not a very good spot because I've got all the trees. But I'm going to try and run to that little town that I saw on the map. Wait, what way am I going? So I need to run here as quickly as possible before that convoy ambush gets there. Because the idea is I'm going to try and literally ambush the convoy in the town. Uh, I am going to die unless I become very good because the convoys are always different. You can sometimes get BTRs, you can sometimes get something simple like Urals. But um, the idea is you practice these different votings uh, that you saw on the list earlier. It's like there's attack location, you can charge in and then attack a location or defend an area. I just went conv convoy ambush because it's probably the quickest. You On this one, you do not have any lives. Um, well, I mean like you have infinite lives, sorry. In which point you're able to be um you're able to keep spawning back and try and kill the ambush uh convoy i'm muddling up my words because it's uh such an interesting thing i'm too focused right what way are they coming from they're coming from the major road left which point i'm gonna sort of pin myself oh oh can i go here no i can't go here um they're not there yet are they no oh i could just go here in which one I've been running, so I need to sort of lay down. And the idea is, I can see the convoy when they're coming. When they come, I'm going to resume recording, because I'm going to try and make this shorter as possibly possible. Right, as you can see now, the first convoy ambush, or first part of the convoy, has just arrived at that turning. In which point they're coming down here, I could actually possibly take some of this out, but the idea is you're you hopefully you've got some friends that will probably help you with this because on your own it's going to be really hard. Right, I need to take out that the two gunners first. That's probably what I'm going to die by. Right, where where are they? Here they are. Sometimes the drivers get out, but not really often. Is that it? Yes! I did it! Sorry, that's 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 and that's amazing for me. In which point, yes, you are able while it sort of prepares. Uh, it will randomly move you on to the next challenge. Um, so yeah, this is armory. Uh, it's probably one of the funnest things 
uh, and probably it is quite fun with more people. Um, but it will practice you for Daisy. That's that's what I'm trying to get at in this episode. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. Please like, favorite, subscribe, and share if your friends are struggling at Daisy as well. Thank you. Goodbye.